Hey everyone, welcome again to Garden Fork, another one of our beginning beekeeping. This is a sugar feeder update. In our previous episode, we put uh, baggies on and I wanted to show you uh, just how they inhale the sugar in there. Uh, I gave these guys a little smoke just to drive them down a little bit. Um, and it looks like actually a couple bees have gotten inside the baggie which is not a good thing, and so some of them drowned. Uh, but some of the other sugar feeders that I've used, uh, quite a few more bees drowned. So you are going to lose some bees, but I like this baggy method, which I just started using. So let's check it out here. So you can see in here, some bees got inside, because I cut some of the holes in the baggies kind of big, and they climbed right in, because, I mean, sugar's kind of a drug for them, you know? But generally, this looks really good. You might hear the peepers, the frogs in the background. There's a water source for the bees right there. There's a small pond, which is perfect for siting a bee yard, by the way. So I've got a little bit of air in here. It's a little puffy. But again, just some Little kind of pinprick holes, not big ones. I made some big ones that were too big before. And this is how I do it. Other people uh, may have other ways to do it. So I'm still having the insulated inner cover on here, um, again, because there is a space in here to allow for the bags to be there, or otherwise you would use a rim spacer, sometimes called a shim. I'll switch this out soon. But put that down slowly and make sure that you're not crushing any bees. You can see this is a honeybee that has some pollen on their legs, and that's kind of a bright yellow pollen. They're different color pollens depending on what plant they're bringing them from. This hive has an entrance reducer on it, and I'm going to keep that on there for another couple of weeks. Let these guys build up their strength. Because if we open the whole entrance to the hive, they have to have guard bees to defend the whole hive. So there you go, how to feed your bees. I really like the baggy method. Um, I have a bunch of other, I have three other kinds of sh feeders, sugar feeders, and the bees always seem to drown quite a bit, even though they say they're not gonna drown in them. Uh, and the, you know, the zipper bags, they're kind of a pain to fill, but once you get a hang of it, I, I think it's a good way to go. So if you like what you're seeing here, uh, you wanna subscribe maybe, we put out shows every week about stuff like this, urban homesteading, home repair, urban blah, blah, blah. Sorry. It's been a long day. All right. Think about signing for our email newsletter too. All the links are right here in the show notes below or at the end of the video. All right. Make it a great day. Go out and do cool stuff. Come back and tell me about it. See ya.